ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Here today we have the UUQ 2 to 7 by 32 rifle scope. This is the Vibe Shield. Um, it is the second installment into the Vibe Shield series for UUQ. So with no further ado, we're going to jump this bad boy and see what it's all about. All right, starting off here, we'll do a nice little unboxing of this bad boy. Go ahead and take this top off. Nice box it comes in. It's pretty sweet. All right. So here are rail mounts. We'll jump into those here and do a second. Here we have the scope itself. And that looks to be it for that. So we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up. As you can see here, it comes nicely wrapped and packaged. We'll go ahead and undo all this. You're greeted with the optic here, along with a product warranty card, a microfiber towel for cleaning, silicone, along with some scope instruction manual. And over here we have the 20 millimeter scope mounts. Let's open this up as well. And there you have it. Very nicely packaged. These look pretty sweet, actually. I do like the look of those. It's very nice there. Got two of those, along with an Allen key for adjusting the top plates. See, very nice that they've included that as well. So first looks at this bad boy, it is absolutely beautiful. Another great product from UQ as usual, along with some nice little snap cover caps. You can go ahead and take these off if you do wish to do so, simply by just rotating them right off. They come right off there. So along with this, you have your elevation and windage adjustments under these nice caps here. Go ahead and unscrew these one at a time. Here you have a no tool necessary dial you can go ahead and use for your adjustments. Uh, Nice little click pattern there, and they are labeled as well. Along with your rear magnification setting, you have 2 to 7 by 32 um, objective lens, so very nice there as well. We'll go ahead and jump into what this particular optic has to offer as well. So like most of UQ's optics, you can expect some great things in the durability and build of this bad boy. So it has IPX7 waterproof, it has shockproof and fogproof capabilities. Um, a Vibe Shield is probably one of my favorite rifle scopes to use. I do have the other one in this lineup, and they are by far the most rigorous of the rifle scopes that they offer. Uh, UQ makes a great platform and versatile selection of optics, but uh, the Vibe Shield is honestly, in my opinion, trumps them all. This one has been tested to withstand over 500 cycles of 1200G impacts, so that is a very nice thing about these. These can withstand some heavy recoil and uh, they're going to maintain zero, they're going to hold focus for you, and they are going to hold up. So this bad boy also does have the green multi-coat lenses provided with the optic. Of course, um, these are going to definitely help with uh, light reflection through the optic, um, maintaining that the shooter does have some very unobscured views of their target at all times. It has anti-scratching capabilities, anti-fogging capabilities I mentioned. Um, the green multi lenses are definitely superior, I think, for a well-built optic such as they have provided here. They are nitrogen filled with O-ring seals to ensure that the gases are not released from the optic as well. So for your elevation and wind adjustments, as you can see, nice, easy, just pop these off. These are a one-click equals quarter MOA per turn, indicating up to the left. Nice clicking sound to show you that you are moving it. Very nice there. Um, this thing is 9.84 inches long and it is just over a pound and a half. So not very long and not very heavy. Perfect for a hunting rifle, I think this is best suited for. It is very versatile. You can put this on any weapon, I think. Um, on the website, it does state that it can go up to 30 out 6 um, listed, but it does say that it can withstand higher rounds as well. So that is very nice. Um, 30 out 6 is a great hunting caliber along with whatever you may want to throw this on. I definitely think it's going to be able to adapt perfectly and suit your needs. Of course, included in this is your 20 millimeter Picatinny rail up attachments. So as you can see here, they are a no tool necessary attachment. You can go ahead and take this apart, slide it on your rail. Let's go ahead and lock that back down into place. Get this situated however you so seem <clears throat> deemed fit to your rifle. Very nice there. Quick adjustment on top. You just go ahead and take out all four of these posts and you can set your scope right in the position, get it level, get it situated where you need it, and then lock these back down. This bad boy's coming at about $48, super cheap, a very affordable budget rifle scope. I think for everything that's included with this optic, I think you are definitely going to enjoy this thing for under $50. Along with that, Amazon does have a promotion going on right now. You can save 5% on this bad boy. So let's go ahead and continue on the range and see what this bad boy does. So we're out here at the range now. Um, 
We're gonna go ahead and test the waterproofing capabilities. UQ's great with waterproofing, so uh oops. Put that in there, toss it around, completely submerging the optic. Let's go ahead and take a look. Beautiful. Crystal clear imaging. As you can see the water just wicks right off and go ahead and shake it off again. And that is still a perfectly clear picture. Go ahead and do it again for you guys. Completely submerging it. Drop it in there. Dust it off. Do it again. Back and forth. Go ahead and press it again. And as you can see there, perfectly clear. The water wicks right off of it and uh, it's waterproof. So uh, you guys can rest assured that uh, UQ products are definitely always going to be waterproof in most of the cases. The rifle scopes, they definitely do a great job of uh, nitrogen filling and sealing it. So uh, we've seen it here. Let's move on to the range today and put this bad boy into action. So as you guys can see, this is a scope right here. I'll show you guys the zoom function. This is on two by magnification right now. Go ahead and move it up gradually. Show you guys how close we can get if I keep this steady. And that is seven magnification. See everything very clearly. Very nice there. So we got the scope all mounted up on my Citadel tracker. This is chambered in 22 wind mag. We're gonna be shooting some Hornady. This is 30 grain VMAX wind mag ammunition out of this today. And uh, we're going to see how it performs, so let's jump into it. So we got this bad boy sighted in with the UQ bore sighter. Another great accessory if you're in the market for something that's going to save you some money in ammunition. Um, we're going to go ahead and lot, load five of these up, and we're going to take some shots at about 40 yards. I got the target set up. Uh, we're going to start on paper first just to see how close the grouping is. Then we'll move on to some steel target plinking and uh, see how well it performs. All right, so we got five chambered up. I'm gonna go ahead and lock and load. We're gonna go for a pretty small target on that paper target down there. Five rounds, see how accurate it is. Let's jump into it. That is very impressive grouping right there. Um, accidentally hit right there, but that's okay. Let's load five more up and do the paper one again. This time we're gonna go for the square. I was kind of going for the circle on that last one. So let's move down to the square and fresh target, see how it does then. All right, so we got two more loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and go for that uh, square right below the circle, there's nothing there. So let's see how this grouping does. Beautiful. That is pretty solid grouping. That is such a small target compared to the rest. Even with seven by magnification, that is honestly really impressive. The sight didn't move at all on me. It's super crystal clear to see through. And uh, honestly, I'm very impressed by it. We're gonna go ahead and hit some steel now and see how the plinking goes. All right, so we got five more loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and go for the smaller circles. Um, there's three, it's a set of three. So we're gonna hit the bigger ones first, see how it goes. And Gradually move our way down. I got the GoPro set up down there so you guys can get a better visual of how it's looking. So let's jump into it. All right, middle. Ah, it fell. One second. We got that one situated again. Let's go ahead and uh, hit this smaller one once for you guys. Bingo, baby. All right, we got five more. We'll go ahead and do the same thing over again. This time we're gonna try to go as 
fast as I can. Maybe. Oh, I fell again. This thing is definitely not handling the 22 mag very well, but let's keep going. Oh, miss. I'm out. Well, guys, there you have it the Vibe Shield 2, 2 to 7 by 32 rifle scope review. This thing, honestly, for the price, is a no brainer. This handled just as well as the first Vibe Shield I've gotten from them. And honestly, I love these Vibe Shields. They are very, very, very reliable. And they're very durable, as you've seen. And uh, honestly, you can put this thing through anything and put it on anything. This is a 22 Win Mag. It's a little bit smaller of a caliber, but it says this can handle up to 30 out 6 and up. This is a great option for anybody looking to get into a decent scope at a budget-friendly price. And UQ makes some great optics, so be sure to go check them out. I'll leave a link down below to purchase one of these bad boys. And a uh, big shout out to UQ for sending this bad boy out to me. And thank you, my lovely subscribers, for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying this content and uh, you guys are getting a good feel for how these products are and how they perform. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to putting more content out for you very soon. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Um, doing cool stuff all the time. We got some more giveaways coming up. Let me know down below what you guys would like to see next on the table for giveaways. Um, I think I'm going to include one of these hoodies that I made. This is my merch. So uh, very proud to get that out there. And uh, as always, I will catch you guys next time.